everyone welcome back to rts and welcome back to another start to finish layout and also back to another layout about donuts <laughs> yes sorry about that but it's just the way the load prompts worked out and also what photos i have uh nearby and so that's what we're going to do today now in the prompt that alice gave us today of course based on ruby red uh, scissors and the wizard of oz she went into detail about the yellow brick road and the inspiration about the yellow brick road and where it's actually located uh that is very interesting loved Loved hearing about that. She did such an awesome job with that video. And then also our story prompt was to scrapbook an about an adventure or the technique, uh, use yellow and maybe create a brick effect on your page. Now I've already done that on both of some previous start to finish where I used a yellow brick road, I used yellow and I also used brick. So I'm not gonna do that this time. I'm definitely going story based and talking about the adventure and uh, yes, Krispy Kreme donuts that is a true adventure and a couple years ago we went to myrtle beach and they had just opened up a store to celebrate 80 years in their business so 80 years of wizard of oz 80 years of Krispy creams yeah i think that's very fitting don't you think yes so um what i'm going to do on this start to finish is something i got asked about recently from one of my subscribers i love my subscribers they asked me uh, awesome questions and they give me awesome suggestions and uh, how about do this and how about do that love that I write every one down so thank you ladies uh, I'm going to use a sketch here from page maps of June 2017 which is almost closer to when I went on the strip and I'm going to use this 12 by 12 double page as an inspiration very very simple page but it just gives me an inspiration something to start off with rather than just sit here and say well how am I going to do this just an inspiration because as you can see I have some four by six yes Krispy Kreme Krispy Kreme Krispy Kreme <laughs> yes okay and then I have a lot of wallets and so then there's another four by six so we'll see how many photos land on another double page spread now I try not to do that and load but I'm not on any time crunch here I can take whatever time I want uh, for my layouts because I don't do it for the prize this is my prize yes of course and of course my if my hubby was here he'd say yes that's my prize too because he he lives for Krispy Kreme donuts okay so I decided what I'm going to do is because one of my subscribers said uh how about playing with a certain kit and the kit that uh, my lovely subscriber wanted to see was this one I had used I did a knockoff kit of the Fancy Pants, the bright side. And of course, for me, that is my kit number five. So I just went to my closet on my shelf, pulled my bag that says number five, and I have everything I need for a layout right here. See how it's numbered? That's how I do it. And of course, I'll have a video linked below of how I have this system. This is how I do my paper pads, but I also incorporate my kits along with my paper pads. Just have them numbered. The same setup I have for my paper pads. Quick, quick, fun, fun. And so, of course, you can see that this knockoff kit was indeed based on last year's release of the bright side uh, fancy pants and you would you believe that this has been showing up a Tuesday morning I'm like oh if it was a Tuesday morning and I saw it and I wasn't on a spending freeze even though I did a knockoff kit I would have bought that yes it's a beautiful line beautiful line and so of course the only reason I picked it was because of the colors of red and green from Krispy Kreme oh yeah that Oh, that was a poet and didn't know it. Yeah, the, and so uh, I have everything I need. And I'm not going to uh, spend a lot of time on this page, but I want to have choices. And, of course, this knockoff kit, I will have lots of choices. And so, again, I'll have that video linked below how I built this knockoff kit because I have papers in here. I have, uh, there's papers, and right there's a pretty red. This is one of my favorite red florals by Pebbles. Woodland Forest, but I'm going to use it. You know, this is basically a fall or a uh, autumn type collection i'm using it for Krispy Kreme donuts and then i have lots of papers and then i have alphas okay look at that and i'm just pulling things out of the bag and right here is green there's a bag and here is a bag of red embellishments so right there <laughs> look at all that i even got washi got hearts breads I love these knockoff kits and so that video will be listed below and also too I will link below some of the other start to finish layouts I have done with this knockoff kit of this fancy pants line so this is what I'm going to play with today to do this start to finish layout another two page about Krispy Kreme donuts 
So along with that, since I had just previously done another page about donuts, I have these donuts here, these puffy stickers that I definitely can include because that's the theme of donuts. And then one other thing I'm going to do on this layout, and I knew that when we went on this trip, uh, I, I always collect memorabilia. So I absolutely have some Krispy Kreme memorabilia uh, because they were celebrating 80 years and the whole adventure about the celebrating 80 years and then also to the logo. So I'm going to incorporate some memorabilia on this two page layout. So I'm excited about that because these just stay in bags until I get to them. So happy to incorporate that. And the other thing I wanted to say is that when I say I have uh, videos listed below, uh, some of my new subscribers and some people that are new to YouTube ask me, where do they go for that? And so if you look below the video, there will be a button that says show more. Just click on that and then you will see a description of the video and then there'll be a link to it. Just click on that link and it'll take you to the video that I was talking about and then so sometimes if you're on an iPad or a tablet and you, you know if you look below you're not going to see that so you have to sometimes click on the title of this particular video and then you'll see that show more button so it can be a little confusing on a tablet versus a desktop but it's there just look for that show more button okay so I will come back with uh, some more donut <laughs> layouts. Now, even though these are donut layouts, one was from 2018 and 2017. It's just how that works out with, with the load event. You just never know what the prompts are going to lead you to for a story. So I'm, I'm excited about this. Um, I'm actually excited to see how this is gonna turn out and then also uh, what my husband thinks about that. Of course, he'll just want a Krispy Kreme donut, yes. <laughs> okay, so I will come back with another start to finish double page spread. Hang on. Okay, I'm back with my finished two-page spread about our adventure of Krispy Kreme donuts on this trip. <laughs> so fun to do. And so if you look at this sketch that I had pulled out, and I'll have the link below. It's from June 2017. And I used this base uh, foundation of this two-page sketch as my springboard because I just absolutely took my papers to the top like they did and at the bottom and even added some border edges exactly as the sketch. And then after that, I just put it to the side and wherever Wherever my photos land they land because it's more important for me to get my photos on here rather than follow a sketch if that makes sense so of course I only had a couple that I kept in the bigger size one here on the left and one here on the right and then of course I pulled out some thicker sets that said the best and our fave because they are the best donuts bar none <laughs> and they are our favorite donuts bar none and then with each one of my wallets I just matted in white paper and I spread them across I don't know if I can get this all in here and I spread that across. So how many did I get on here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve photos on a two-page spread. I'll take that any day of the week. And then all I did was use embellishments that was in my kit, and I'll show that in just a minute. And I just used ones that was appropriate. And I say this all the time when I'm building kits. If you put in a variety of embellishments in your kits, they will always go <laughs> with whatever you're scrapbooking. It seems to work out that way. Now, if you look at this sketch, this sketch, if you look at this layout overall, the colors are just red and green because most people know and the signature color of Krispy Kremes is red and green. So even though I don't really have any Krispy Kreme or donut themed uh, embellishments, it looks like Krispy Kreme just because of the use of color. And I love that, just love that. So I put the red on the top and the green on the bottom and whatever I did on the left, I did exact on the right and so it wasn't hard to do because I just repeated it twice and then of course I did cut down my memorabilia I put a piece here and then I put a piece here on the right and this is on foam tape but the other one on the left is not so then also I made sure I got 80 on there I just took some stickers that was from my kit put the number 80 because it was celebrating 80 years and they were selling a dozen of donuts for 80 cents and so that was the adventure and then of course uh during this trip we were there a couple weeks as that they had opened up a new location and so you basically had to wait it was over 80 minutes <laughs> uh going through the drive through and so it was just a big adventure we had fun i swear i think some of our best conversations is uh, waiting in a drive through line <laughs> Yeah, I probably should write that down. That would be a fun layout to do. And so, of course, over the years, I've always taken photos. But on this trip, 
because of the new location and uh, they had some display set up so when I went in uh, on one trip I made sure that I got some photos of things they had on display things they had on the wall and then there's always a great place that you can take photos of them actually making the donuts of course it's Krispy Kreme and then a couple pictures of us going through the drive through a couple times and getting these 80 cents dozen of donuts <laughs> yes isn't that fun that this is during the load event where Wizard of Oz is celebrating Celebrating 80 years and this uh, place here Krispy Kremes was celebrating 80 years that's fun and so of course my journaling is going to go down here and it's just going to talk about some locations and just normal stuff and I might even get my little one to comment about it and also my husband so I'm I might incorporate all of that I'm not quite sure it's when I can get everybody together to get to give me an opinion yes okay so that is basically how quick this uh, layout came together because I used a knockoff kit and I had built this last year now that was a question I get sometimes is how long do I keep a kit I will simply keep a kit together and in a bag or in a box for as long as I feel like I want to play with it. As soon as I look at it and I'm like, eh, it doesn't draw my attention anymore or it doesn't excite me, then I tear it down, put all that uh, supply back into my inventory of items. And then uh, I also wanted to say that having a kit like this all in one bag is such a benefit because I'm going to move this for a minute and I want to show you something because this did not take very long at all. <laughs> no, it did not. So if I pull down all these supplies that I was playing with, look at this. Excuse my arms there for a minute. Look at all these embellishments I had to play with. Because in that kit, I had all those different colors and I had things bagged up. So, you know, I had a bag of red and a bag of black and a bag of black and I had some other colors, but I pulled the ones that were pertaining to me and I just dumped some of the supplies out and I kept them in group by uh, color because that's how I scrap by color. And look at all these that are just ones I didn't even touch, but look at all the options. And so that's what makes pages like that very quick using a kit because I had a variety of embellishments. I had a variety of color and some were chipboard and some is wood veneer, some is epoxy stickers, washi tape frames, braids. I got a little bit of everything going on. And that's how I can get a variety of embellishments on my pages using a kit because I put a variety of embellishments in my kit if that makes sense so I wanted to bring that forth because when you're building a kit sometimes you'll say to yourself I have no idea what photos I'm going to use and that's okay because that's not the purpose the purpose to building a kit is so that you have all those items available when you sit to scrap I mean saves a lot of time this was done I would say probably around 60 to 70 minutes yes to do a two-page layout because I didn't have to go get anything all I did was pull a pack of thickers and that was just to my left no big deal and so, of course, I will finish my journaling, put that there. And I did want to say one other thing was when you are having embellishments that you put on, because I put this on here, and then I was like, oh, no, I wanted to put some memorabilia on, is that, um, you know, now it has a residue because I had put adhesive on it. So what you can do then simply is take a, a tool called an EK Success Powder Tool, and Nicole Jones is the one that introduced me to this years ago and so you simply just uh, tap it and it puts a baby powder residue on the back of this and then it's no longer sticky okay and plus it smells good <laughs> yes okay I don't know if it's actual baby powder but it's something and so you can do the same thing about putting a baby powder in a nylon sock or something like that it'll work the same but I will tell you for the money this is such a great little thing to add to your basic toolkit and I will tell you the first one I got and you can see the powder <laughs> That's fun. Uh, the first one, and this stays on my adhesive tray. So the first one I got, the bristles kept falling out. And so I was like, I have no idea why Nicole's liking this thing because I surely don't. Because every time I went tap, 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 bristles were coming out. And so I contacted EK Success and they said, no, that's not normal. And they sent me another one. So um, if you're not loving this thing, maybe you got a bad one. That happens. Um, but it is a valuable, very inexpensive. And I'll have a link below because you can still get them on Amazon. Very, very neat little tool to have. So I wanted to talk about that a little bit. And also, too, I wanted to talk about that if you want to see another knockoff, 
knockoff kit I recently did. I will have the link below. And I did a recent knockoff kit of the Simple Stories Spring Farmhouse. Yes, that was absolutely fun. Can't wait to play with that. So you'll see some layouts coming up uh, using that no other knockoff kit. So that is what I have for this two-page spread. Absolutely love the colors. I love that I got 12 photos on this two-page spread and also about a topic and a place and a food that we absolutely enjoy and we have such fond memories of going to Krispy Kreme in a South Carolina because we don't have anything like that to where where we live so I'm absolutely excited about that and I wanted to talk about something else oh um because some people will ask okay well you use memorabilia because these two pieces here and here were memorabilia that was actually from a Krispy Kreme donut box so do you worry about it being acid free no, because I have no idea how many other things that we use nowadays. We use a huge variety of embellishments. Of course, you know, with breads, anything epoxy, the enamel dots, even something as simple as enamel dots. Uh, this is basically an epoxy type embellishment. I can't even tell me if someone if if someone would even know if that's acid free. I don't know, so I just don't worry about it. It is what it is. Yes, uh, if it looks like it's going to be bad down the road, I'll just tear it off the page. But I haven't had that. I haven't ran into that. The only embellishment I've ran into that I think is a problem is rubber embellishments, and I think they don't adhere very well. And also, too, they say that the rubber is eating into the cardstock on certain pages. Um, so that's something to consider with rubber embellishments. But but everything else. I haven't really had a problem with it. Okay, so that's probably enough talk. Sorry about that. But uh, hungry for a donut. Yes, somebody send me a donut. Yes, absolutely. Okay, so that's all I have for today. And come back to RTS because you never know what we're going to learn. Bye.